teleport anything that's physical. But you cannot actually teleport your conscience. If you got teleported somewhere else, they read who you are to a cellular level, then they reconstruct you somewhere else. Once quantum computation is here, it will be able to break through any kind of decryption or uh, seed phrase combination. It doesn't matter if it's 24, 48 or 162, whatever, it will break through. So the main guys are trying to find a solution for this. Cryptocurrency uh, would be dead in 10 days if quantum computing was, was here already. If it breaks crypto, will it also break MasterCard, Visa, other payment processing platforms? You have to think about security for all of your your passwords and all of this other shit when there's a, a computer system capable of pretty much breaking any kind of encryption. Quantum computing, it, it, it's going to be one of those things, kind of like this whole AI boom that makes people start thinking about stuff, and that's a great thing. Uh, quantum computing would be here as a tool around 2050, so that's 25 years from now, but it would be pretty fun if someone solved for quantum computing before there was another option, and then they just got the money from everyone, like all of the money from the banks, all of the crypto, like everything, and then everyone's poor, but then money is not worth anything because they have it all. At that point, we just go back to bartering. Like, how many chickens do you want for this? Like, how many how many goats do you want? Did Did you watch Avatar? Movie. I haven't watched the second one yet. It's three hours long, and I just can't bring myself to do it yet. Yeah. Even if I wanted to watch it, it came out in 2023. So. I don't really want to see the protagonist go transgender or something like that, so... And not that there's anything wrong with being transgender. Exactly, there's nothing wrong with it. I just... I don't want to see my characters change. I don't care if the character was born a dog, was born Mexican. I just want a second movie that keeps some logic between yeah, the first movie good. and the second movie. You can teleport anything that's physical. But you cannot actually teleport your conscience and your your essence or your soul, right? So if you got teleported somewhere else, you get deconstructed. So they read who you are to a cellular level and they then they reconstruct you somewhere else. But would they be able to transfer in your soul or your conscience or, or your memories? Or would you be someone else completely? Is our yeah. conscience or our soul connected to our brain or does it live as a separate entity that just uses your body as a vessel your consciousness is not a physical thing that lives inside of you your consciousness exists whether your body does or not exactly. and your brain just interacts with that consciousness for example in video games you have two kind of fast travel so you have portals the portal breaks the, the space-time uh, constant and then they, they, they open doors to other places. But with teleportation, what it's breaking is you, not the space-time constant. Right, it physically deconstructs you and then, and then reconstructs you instead of altering space-time. There's this strike in Hollywood because AI is advancing so fast that they are proposing buying the rights from actors and generating from that and I think it's probably the same technology where, where they take you as a person and they they, um, they measure everything from you and then they are able to emulate you in a movie so they only buy your rights one time and then they can make 15 movies with your persona you can generate full episodes of South Park with a prompt you pick your characters and then you give it a prompt and it spits out a whole episode. Animated, voice acting, everything. Uh, in just literally seconds. The studios 
<clears throat> or whoever is trying to buy the rights for the personas or for the characters, uh, they do so because right now, if you like, if you have The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, starring in a movie, there will be one point, maybe in 10 years, maybe in 20 years, that you won't even need to buy the rights of an actor because you can, you, you can just generate one. There's this trend on Twitch and TikTok where uh, streamers will go live and when they get a donation which comes in the form of an emoji, they'll say a reaction to it. And they don't do anything else. It's like they're playing an NPC in a video. And they just but, get a hot dog and it's like, oh, hot dog, I'm, I'm, oh, hot dog, yeah. Fuck? Our brains are so fucking mush at this point that people actually enjoy that. How fucking stupid are we? If kids watch any kind of screen, unless it is a video uh, call, if it's just a video or cartoons or, or social media, whatever, their brains are not designed to process what's going on. It actually messes with the way that they grow up and their brains develop. You're showing this like five second content to this poor fucking human that hasn't even developed the, the ability to like understand that it's only five seconds. So that becomes their like attention span. Exactly. So you grow up watching TikTok, your attention span is about 30 seconds. It's not that society is, is making stupid people rich and famous. Is that society is so stupid that these people they are making rich are normal people for them? Hot, hot. Lightning? What you got? Superpowers and shit? Stop with the lightning bolts. They.